Well, the month of May marks Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. As we celebrate the great contributions of those from the AAPI community, protesters are fighting for justice. Deanne tells us how a local organization is using its platform as a way to celebrate and bring reform in this week's For the Culture. So according to an AAPI report, more than 3,800 anti-Asian racist incidents occurred across the nation last year. Right now, we're taking a look at some video of an attack on an Asian man just last week in California. Now protests continue to spread across the nation even as we celebrate Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Locally, the National Association of Asian American Professionals, the Tampa Bay chapter, they're advocating for change. They're also hosting community events like bystander trainings, rendering community service, and creating a network for the AAPI community. I spoke to the chapter's founder and president who told me what this month means to him. There's a story of a family uh, that was who was escaping an oppressive regime that tra uh, transformed that country into a war-torn country. And during the escape, the family was separated. Um, and the, the father and some of the children went ahead to the United States, and the mother and her four children had to escape to a refugee camp to wait there over a year until they were reunited. I know this story because so it's, this is my story. It's my family, my journey, and my inspiration to America. What an incredible story. Man Lee actually founded the local NAP chapter in 2018. And for the first time in Tampa Bay history, AAPI Heritage Month will actually be recognized by the city of Tampa tomorrow. That celebration will be with Mayor Castor at 4 p.m. in Avery. He was so excited to tell me about that recognition that they are receiving. And so well, sure. what an honor. Yeah, and you know, we've seen on social media some of these attacks on Asian yeah. people in our country and they're horrific. Mm -hmm. There's legislation now that that's going to kind of change that though, right? A bill literally yeah. just passed yesterday. So I can tell you the House passed that bill that addresses the rise in anti-Asian hate crimes during the pandemic. That legislation calls for the Department of Justice to speed up reviews of COVID related hate crimes that were reported to law enforcement agencies. It'll also establish a way to report crimes online. And now Avery, mm -hmm. all President Biden has to do is sign mm -hmm. that. He thing. is expected to do so. Yep. All right. Thanks, Steve. David. Thank you, ladies. Well, Tampa City leaders are preparing for the first public